Hi, I'm Paris, and today I'm reviewing a tech product. This is a tiny little flash drive that will connect both to your phone and to your computer. You can use it in situations like my daughter Roxana a few weeks ago at her first K-pop concert, who over the course of the concert completely filled up the memory of her phone, and by the end of the concert could hardly take even one more picture, or if you don't want to fill up the memory of your phone, you've got some video files, audio files you'd like to watch and listen to over a 10 hour flight, but you don't want to load up your phone and fill it up with that stuff. With this, you can keep all the bulky files here, leaving lots of free space on your phone to record when someone doesn't want to give up their seat and the airline personnel drag them down the aisle and off the plane. Let's see how easy this is to use and how well it works. Epic review. I picked up this SanDisk dual drive, 32 gigabyte capacity drive over at Fry's for about $20. It does come in larger and smaller capacities. Also, this is a type C connector that will pop out of the side. That's what my phone uses. Some older phones you want the micro USB or on an iPhone you might want a lightning connector. On most phones, it's supposed to be as easy as plugging it in and then you can access the files or access a device to put files onto. But if that doesn't work, there's a SanDisk Memory Zone app you can download from the App Store or the Google Play Store that should get it to work. Again, I picked it up for about $20. You can find out more about it at the link down below this video. I was thinking there might be more instructions inside, but nope, just the device itself. I did look at their website and get an idea of how it works, and it's pretty tiny. On the top, there's a slider that lets you slide out Type-C connector. Alternatively, your standard Type-A USB connector to plug into your computer. Here's a close-up view. The only thing you have with it is a little slider piece on top. That's in neutral mode and Type-C on this side. And that's locked in place until I push this down and slide it back over. Is it as easy as simply plugging in? And the nice thing with USB Type-C is it doesn't matter which direction you plug it in. Didn't make any sounds and no lights appeared on this. I understand if I go to File Manager, I should be able to access it. File Manager is right here. It's showing the internal storage in my Google Drive account, so it's not showing up here. By the way, this phone is a OnePlus 5 running Android 7.1. Now I tried unplugging it, switching it over, plugging it in the other way. You're not supposed to have to do that, but just in case, but still no sign of detecting this. I've got my OnePlus 3 with the cracked screen here and it has the same type of connector. I'm gonna try it on that, but first I'm gonna try it on my desktop computer using the Type-C connector. There's a spot on the motherboard to plug this in. And it showed up immediately, plugged into the computer via the Type-C connector, so that is working. I think while I have it here, I'll move a video file and an audio file onto it so I can try to play that once I get it working with the phone. This is a good time to test out the transfer speeds. This is a three gigabyte video file. Well, I would have hoped for faster. Normally when I do this from the SD card in the camera, I get about 80, so it's running about half that speed. Oh, oh, uh-oh. <laughs> That's one single file, so... Hmm, after the first gigabyte, it looks like the speed slows down a lot more. This is my OnePlus 3 phone. As soon as I plugged the drive into this, it popped up with this notification. It did see the drive. And there are the two files that are on it. Now, this is easy. Hi, I'm Paris. Welcome back to another Food and Drink Wednesday. Well, in order to get perfect. Your food so the playback speed from this is plenty fast for playing the video, which is good, as slow as it is to write it to the drive originally. And it works incredibly easily with my OnePlus 3. It shows up in File Manager along with my internal storage and my Google Drive. Here are the files and folders on it. I would like to see if I can transfer something from this phone onto it, how easy that is. All right, I finally found a way where I can go into the photos, select it, Choose to copy to, and I've created a new folder on the SanDisk drive called Test Photos. There's one photo in there already. It's now copying the photo from the internal storage of the phone into the folder called Test Photos here in this drive. 
And when I'm done with it, I can easily go into settings, storage, and I see the storage devices here, including the SanDisk. This is the symbol for eject. And it's now safe to remove. But that isn't going to work for my OnePlus 5, which still sees nothing when I plug this in. So I'll go to the Google Play Store, download the SanDisk Memory Zone app, and see if that'll get it to work. I installed the app, set it up, it sees all my storage devices, except it says Samsung Dual Drive, not detected. I can't explain why it'll work on my OnePlus 3, but not my OnePlus 5. Something really new in the phone that just doesn't recognize this. Well, that's frustrating. I can get this to work on the phone that I don't use anymore, but I can't get it to work on my brand new phone. I guess it's possible if OnePlus is aware of this, they may release an update in the future for the phone that would allow this to work. The feature in Android is called On The Go OTG, and it's supposed to be by default working on all relatively modern smartphones. There is a web page on the SanDisk site that lists compatible phones, so I'll link to that down below this video so you can make sure your phone is on there first. I don't think the OnePlus 3 is on there, but it worked, but this didn't. As for using this as a regular flash drive, switch over to that. See how the data transfer speeds are this way. Just as advertised, 150 megabytes per second. Plenty quick reading. Too bad it gets so slow writing. Let's see what speeds are via the USB-A connection, but I think they're going to be the same. 40 initially, and then we get to about 1 gigabyte, and then they drop down to 12 to 15. And there it goes. Well, I really like the idea of this, and I want one of these, but I need one that works with my phone. I did see at Fry's they had a Sony for about the same price. Very tiny, just like a little nub, so it would barely stick out of your phone. And I thought, that's awfully small and easy to get lost. So I thought something closer to a traditional flash drive size would be better, but I really want to get something like this to use as a place to move files over on my phone. It just won't be this one. Now, this did work with the OnePlus 3, and it will work with a lot of phones. So if you're still interested in the dual drive USB type C or micro USB or flash drive, I'll put a link to this product down below this video, as well as the list of phones it's supposed to work with. Honestly, too, I would like faster write speeds to this so it wouldn't take so long to move those big movie files over when I want to use this for watching some movies on the airplane, but for 20 bucks, it's not bad. I'll be back soon with more reviews. You can keep checking back for those, or you can click that subscribe button and the bell next to it. You'll get notified when my videos go up. See you on the next review. Epic.